Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Doc and Queenie Facebook Live. Good afternoon, Queenie. Good afternoon, Doc. Happy Monday. Your favorite day. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Absolutely. I mean to tell you, it's been back-to-back -back meetings, but so much is getting accomplished, and I seriously do love this day. That's good. It's, it always feels good to accomplish something, whether it's in a day, whether it's a weekend, whether it's a year, whether it's, you know, it's, it always feels good that way. I do, it's just, and look outside that, that right there should get everything rolling, especially in your case um, with all the different changes that you've been making. It's just, it's so cool to watch, honestly. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I, I accomplished a lot this weekend. I put in four garden beds and and oh, uh, my, planted one, one, one and a half. So. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. That is, well, you know, 20 years ago, I'd be out there. Putting, I was going to say 20 years ago, I'd be putting in four more today, but no, today I'm crawling around. I, I forget that I'm only in that, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> wear and tear on the body. Oh gosh. I know for sure. Hey, Karen, it's great to see you. And I yes. really honestly love, love, love the community building that's been happening. I have been hearing about, hey doc, I have been hearing about all of these cool one-on-ones that are happening with people who had never met yet if it wasn't for DQ, uh, Doc and Queenie. So I'm super duper excited about that. And please keep those testimonials coming when we get to hear, oh, I met with, I met with, I met with, that is, that just lights me up. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a lot of fun. And actually, I had a one-on-one -on -one today. Actually, it was a two-in-one, two I guess you could say. Um, I met I met with Miss Phyllis and mm. her partner, uh, business partner, uh, Jessica. And of course, last names, I'm already going. It's Phyllis oh. and Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, Phyllis is so great. Yes, she is. And um, she was telling Jessica as we were online, you know, hey, I met I met Doc through a mutual friend, friend of ours. And she was talking about Doc and Queenie. And, and it was it was fun. It was lots it's of fun. so cute. I love stuff like that. And it really is the community building piece. And for me, it's always a matter of who can I help? And right. that's the stuff that I just love so much. Exactly. So. So what else is new, Queenie, in your world? How's HNP doing these days? Oh, my gosh. Um, I just came from another meeting. I had a posting party earlier this morning, and two new people showed up, which is so exciting because, okay, it's not number two. It's literally a, um, that's two new networks. Let's say that. That's why when people say, oh, there's only one person on the call or 10 people or 50 or whatever it is. No, no, no. My friends, please consider it's not one or two people. It's one or two networks. And so that was super fun. And neither of them had ever been to a posting party before, which just lights me up. And believe it or not, I went super easy on them <laughs> from a standpoint of deer in the headlights. There's so much to do. I don't do LinkedIn. Okay, great. You don't have to do LinkedIn, let LinkedIn do for you. And uh, it really has. And of course, one of the girls is relatively new kind of just a few under her belt, she expressed some of her experiences for having done some of the tweaks and she's thrilled. So it, it just, it lights me up. And then HNP, we have new captains, new co-hosts, new mentors, new board of director members. It's just, it's growing leaps and bounds. And I am um, grateful, yes, but also aware of the momentum and the responsibility for something this huge. And the more and more people hear about it, the more and more they say, is it really free? And I'm like, well, I've been around for two and a half years now and it's still free. So yeah. So uh, it really does. These kind of things, being able to connect people just lights me up. Well, and in your comment with, you know, people learning or not knowing, um, you know, just one person, that's a new network. Yes. Um, you, we talk a lot about, you know, your posting parties, you talk a lot about, um, you know, do a post and then the proper way to tag somebody that's posted on LinkedIn. Yep. And that keeps those networks coming in and it keeps that engine rolling, as we both know, because we've watched it just explode off of, uh, you know, mine was, I like my greenhouse. And I had all of these people. <laughs> so I like, I, I have, I'll have to go back and look at the post. It was a couple of weeks ago, like over 300 people go, you know, just comment and look at it and, 
Yeah, you know, and you you've had some. I remember way back, we'll say back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, a couple of years ago, we were we were just actually, I think it was before H and P, you held up your um your pumpkin spice latte and you talked about your coffee. And oh, didn't you get yeah. like over a thousand views on that? I mean, it was insane how many people pulled into that. It absolutely was insane. And I did that. Um, Missy Day, uh, we had coaching classes with Missy Day in Las Vegas, and she's just, oh my gosh, so fascinating, so much fun. And look at connections. I got to meet Missy because she had been the guest speaker before on Fun Fearless Female Global Community of Christian Women with Delinda Lane. And so all of a sudden I met Missy and I can't remember, I either won or did a gig for her. I can't remember, but I won a um, Starbucks gift card. And so, of course, pumpkin spice latte came out in August because why wait until October? Right. And so pumpkin spice latte had just come out in my neighborhood. So all of a sudden my uh, Starbucks app is ding, ding, ding in. And so I thought, OK, what the heck? So I went up to get a, a pumpkin spice latte. And then I thought, you know, why keep this to myself? And I'm not one for saying, here's my dessert, here's my meal, here's my breakfast here. I don't do that usually. But when I did that, I thought, oh my gosh, because I wanted to edify Missy for having gifted me the gift card to Starbucks. And obviously pumpkin spice latte had just come out in my neighborhood. So there were too many nuances within that one post. And all of a sudden I was getting dinged all over the place with all this YouTube publicity. And I thought, Okay, I better figure out what this algorithm stuff is all about. Well, and it's, you know, you always talk about that there's not, um, well, there is a proper way to edify and to tag. You, you've got your hashtags. You've got, you you re-tag or re, uh, I guess you say re-tag the person that posted. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, you, you talk about and you can share a video. Video, videos, YouTubes, and uh, Pinterest are the two top TikToks up there. That's all visual. And people are not, you know, some, some people are like, oh, I don't want to, I don't like look. Well, you know, I mean, there have been some days I look back at my first ones and I'm like, I look like this guy <laughs> asleep. You know? Not only that, but I'm going, Catherine, what were you thinking? Yeah. That and then moving the camera 9,000 miles. I'm like, I'm getting sick watching my own YouTube, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. But you have to start somewhere, you know, and um, and I, you know, you you have trained me to be more I, I'm an observant person, but you've brought up some points that have made me think like, huh, and I've been watching and it, I find it interesting. Sometimes people will throw out a post and with nothing on it. And then you're like, well, what do you expect if there's nothing, if there are no tags, if you're if you're edifying something? Somebody, there's no, you're not putting the person's name that you're edifying, you know, in the comment section or in your comments on your tag, your posts, um, and then it's not being shared. So yeah, it, it's, it's, but, but we don't know. And we've talked about this before. We don't know what people don't know. It, I, I get, you know, when you're talking about, you know, your, whatever you're talking about with your own business. But, but the pieces, when that ball gets rolling, it's edifying others, it's tagging others, it's tagging the topic you're talking about, and it's sharing, and it will keep on going. And just like you said, Doc, what I have said, I have um, noticed if people don't do what you just stated, you just put a stop sign on your own traffic. Yeah. You just completely made the algorithm cease because you didn't continue the engagement. You go to a uh, chamber of commerce meeting, you go to an ACA meeting, you go to a Toastmaster meeting, wherever that is. Would you like to buy a water machine? Nope. Well, bye. See ya. That's not how it works, at least certainly not for me. Mm -hmm. And so you keep the engagement and the traffic rolling by keeping the conversation going. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Susie. Hey, Doc. Hey, Karen. Hey, Tyrion. Hey, Grace. Hey, Michelle, and you, you tag, 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 tag. And if you don't tag them effectively, they don't know that you knocked on the door and you just put up a stop sign on your own tag. And that is one thing I have found people are, uh, I hate to say lax, but perhaps they don't remember that that's, you would, you would chat at a, at a chamber of commerce meeting, an ACA meeting, a Toastmaster event. You would talk to the person back and forth, chat. And if you don't do that, 
then you just close the door and people go, ew, and walk away. It's, that's that's basically what you're doing on social media if you don't keep that engagement going. Look how many followers you've gotten because everybody's going, hang on a second. How'd you do that garlic? Wait one more time. How did you make that that window stand up on your greenhouse? How did you do that? And they want more, 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 more. If you didn't right. respond, you just shut the door on those folks. Right. And, and it, yeah, it's in whether we like it or not. Yes, it's a lot of work and a lot. Yes, it's a lot of consistency. And yes, it's a lot of cross pollination. But just like you just said, you know, if if we don't continue doing all of that, you've put up a stuff, you've basically cut off your own, you know, your own feet. Yes. And, and and thinking somebody's going to buy in a first high, I just met you. Um, wow. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can say for myself, if somebody does that to me, I'm running the other way because I'm like, you're not my person. I, and I, I it's back to the relationship part, Doc. You've talked about that so much as far as the relationship building. If And I know because you've shared with me personally, you have had, uh, okay, negative experiences in the networking arena. If wow. those people are not your people, you know. Now, I'm happy to say that sometimes I have been pleasantly surprised because my first impression, and I usually go, usually my first impressions are good, but sometimes I have gone, hmm. And so the next time, the next time, the next time, sometimes I've been able to build those relationships to nurturing level, but sometimes not so much. And you've shared, uh, and it would be kind of interesting, we probably couldn't post it, but it would kind of be interesting to do a negative, <laughs> negative Nelly post as far as how many people um, have walked up to you and say, hi, would you like to, da, da, da? nope, see ya. And, but it's very interesting that they do that. You'd be so great at, how do you have any idea what I would be great at? Oh, and, and, and so it's that, always. Uh, and it, yeah, outside of our little networking, that little big networking that we do, the business networking, I've, I've had piece, people on random people on Facebook hey, did you hear about such and such? And I'm like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> and I'll say, no, I'm not interested. But but you, you'll you make millions. And, and that's exactly like what you just said. I, I not, My last time this happened, I said, you don't know me. Why are you trying to sell me something? I'm, I'm here to make friends and, you know, get to know people. I'm not here to buy. buy your, oh, my god! And they disappeared pretty quickly. Of because that was their do. purpose was boom, sell and move on. If you um, don't want what I'm selling, we can no longer be friends. That's sad. That's really sad because that, my guess is that person is going to find themselves out of business with no business. Uh, however, that's going to work. Lonely. <laughs> like, um, cause some of my of besties in the world, it is not a mutual business back and forth thing necessarily. And it's not a, I'm never speaking to you again. It's a, if that's not your deal, fine. There's a gazillion more people I haven't spoken to yet. But the interesting thing for me is I have, this has happened before. Whoever the person is right here might not think they want or need my product or service yet, but they have sent me referrals. That's the piece for me that you instantly know the relationship building system is working. The per that your person might not need your product or service yet, but they still say, oh, my gosh, you need to talk to Kathy Weaver about water. And it's they send me their friends. And that and I always literally I always call and say, thank you for sending me ABC. But I wanted to let you know if you would like to make the commission, if you're ready to get your machine, I want to have you get your machine first. So that person would then be your person. And so that's how we work in the direct sales market. I have a girl in my network right this second. And that's that's exactly what happened. She already did have her machine, but all of a sudden, random, as they call it, we were at another networking gig and she was promoting her product or service. I was obviously uh, the water rep and the person that was in the meeting bought a machine like she knew about it. She was ready to do that. So I knew my other reps ID, the one who was doing a different product or service at the gig. And all of a sudden she calls me on the phone and she goes, eh, eh, excuse me. And I said, what's up? I knew exactly what was up. And she goes, I just got a check in the mail. 
And I said, well, isn't God good? And she goes, God is fine and lovely and wonderful, but I'm talking about you right now. <laughs> and she goes, I need to know how this worked. And I was like, that's how I roll. I wouldn't have been at that gig if it hadn't been for you. You already had your machine. I put your ID number on the thing and, and she, she got the commission check. That's just how I work. I don't, uh, first of all, you have mentioned before, there's plenty of business to go around. It doesn't have to be a kind of thing. And I'm not going to close the door on relationships. There's no way. Right. You know, so I, I don't, you know, like swinging back to the expectation that you're going to sell something on the first yes. try yes. Or, or that the person that you've done business or done something with, you have an expe expectation on how they should respond to you. That's another biggie too that I've noticed out there on, well, they didn't do this. So they didn't do that, you know, like be nitpicking and you're like, you know, I, that Which comes into part the, of that training. Did you miss? <laughs> yeah. Well, and that comes into the, that comes into the, uh, you know, I'm taking it a little step further. People will always disappoint you. You know, they really, the, we're, we're, we're all human. We're not perfect, you know? Um, but yeah, as far as trying to sell somebody in the first, uh, it doesn't work for, for me, I can say, but, um, quite but interesting. I, also, I really do find that part interesting, honestly, because, um, when people do, uh, the expectation piece, and I know you've used that as your word. And I think I have too recently, thanks to Karen. I've got so many cards now. I forget which one is <laughs> which my, one is it? <laughs> right. If you didn't tag the years on there, I'd be in big trouble, but I definitely appreciate the fact that, um, it, it is the expectation. Somebody thinks that they're going to throw a newsletter out there and they're going to get 2,500 sales. And I always like, Oh, that would be lovely. Congratulations. That's great. For me, it's the drip system. Sometimes people don't, they don't know what they don't know yet. And they right. have no idea what they need. And, and proactive is my favorite reactive kind of scares me, but I have, I have witnessed both. And it's back to that same thing for relationship building. Look at this community. You know, we've got Karen, we've got Grace, we've got Michelle, we've got Debbie, we've got Terry Ann, we've got, we've got our entire community of awesome folks. And I, I, I can't imagine my life without these friends. And I, I seriously mean that. And doc, I wanted to share before we go any further. Yes. Um, we were talking earlier about posting parties. Okay. And the only reason I'm mentioning this is because to show you what a small world this is. I was on coffee club with Michelle Cruz on Friday. Now my Friday is getting to be a little nuts, kind of like Monday, but that's okay. And so it was back to back to back to back to back. And all of a sudden she said, I'm going to put you on the spot. I said, well, <laughs> good luck with that, but okay. And she said, I would like to have Coffee Club host a posting party. Would you be willing to facilitate it for mm -hmm. us? And um, when, when can you do it? I get to do a posting party with um, Coffee Club on Friday, April 14th. And I looked at that and I just went, oh my gosh, Misty Henkel from Australia is there. She's one of our co-hosts from um, Movie Lovers. And so she's going, yeah, I think it's five o'clock in the morning, something the next day in Australia. And she goes, I'll do that. She's going to get up at five o'clock in the morning on a Saturday to go to a posting party in America with Coffee Club. Now we've got other countries actually represented now, which is such a trip. But you see what I mean about the relationship piece? So all of a sudden, Michelle said, or Misty said, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to host a meeting for Coffee Club about bragging. And I said to Misty, I wanted to know if bragging meant edification. Like Doc is so amazing. You need to learn about her gardening. Karen has a big business with Magnitude Jewelry and she's one of the ambassadors for the ACA club. Um, you need to know about ACA, American Club Association. That's edifying to me. And she goes, well, no bragging. And she said, the reason I do a class is because people aren't good at it yet. Do you know what bragging means to Misty? I don't know. Tell me, Queenie. I am the best trainer in the world. I am the best water person in the world. I am the best gardener in the world. I am the best chef in the world. Of course, when I said that, when everybody's now cracking up, um, I am the best chef in the world. You That's what I said. Yeah, I, seriously. <laughs> thank you. Peace. But it is, but that's what you said. People can't say that. It's kind of back to my question about what are you great at? And some people hesitate. Well, I'm good at, no, 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 I didn't say that. What are you great 
at. And they really have to dig deep for that. And that's why Misty said a bragging class literally gives you posture. We talked about posture and confidence and all of those things because some people are not comfortable. That, all that is I attended coffee club. I, I have two events yeah, in April yep. and I, I just exploded. I went, Oh my gosh, this that is fantastic. Relationship building. Yes. It's fantastic. So speaking of fantastic, what does our wheel look like today, Queenie? <laughs> oh, that was a lovely, fantastic a nice segue, segue, Doc. Yeah, that was a, a fantastic segue. Um, see, every single time I forget this, this is so different. We do present instead of that. All right, share screen. The only reason uh, when I, I just actually came from uh, uh, another group where I was doing a share screen for a posting party, and I was on Zoom, so that's always funny to me. All right, I bet you a million bucks today is going to say dog. Oh, my gosh, no, this is perfect. Hashtags. Okay. Now, since we've talked about that, you can ask for another one, or you can take this. What do you think? Could, could we could we do another one? Didn't we do hashtags? We've been uh, talking about hashtags a lot. Recently, yeah. Um, yeah. But the reason that I love this wheel, honestly, is because there's so many topics that change, change, change all the time. Oh, this will be perfect. Ooh. All right. You go first. Chat GPT AI. Okay. And so let's think about this. Chat, I'm going to leave it up for a second. If you guys don't know what it is yet, Chat GPT AI. And Doc, by the way, did you know that was in the news today? And no. the reason, right. Chat GPT AI. I didn't stop sharing it. There we go. Chat GPT AI was in the news because they have decided it's not a good idea. And they want to ban it because they're getting too much of our information. So they are now going to run and determine what we can use for our posting, our learning, our whatever we're doing, because they don't like it. What do you think, Doc? Well, first of all, disclaimer here, I'm having a little internet trouble. I missed par partially what you said, okay. but you, you okay. said... They, they are going to stop it or what are they well, going to do? They are going to investigate to make sure it's a safe platform for us to be on. Oh, and gotcha. Yeah. So I definitely appreciate that, but I, uh, I, I'd love to say I don't need monitoring, <laughs> but I actually can't say that because I probably kind of do. But in any case, I just thought, isn't that an interesting thing? Chat GPT. So let's start at the beginning for our friends on the call. And thank you for joining us today on Doc and Queenie Facebook Live because we love to make our community bigger, better, stronger. And please keep those relationships going. And we had Derricka Moore on Doc and Queenie, Derricka Morgan, pardon me, I just came again from another meeting, Derricka Morgan, and she was on Doc and Queenie Guest Live. I got to have Derricka as my guest on Kathy Chat on Friday. You see what I mean about the community piece? She was talking about social media. And so, of course, privately off the call, we did the chat GPT thing, which is an artificial intelligence tool that can help you with posting or other things. So, Doc, I want you to share with us what you've been using ChatGPT for, if you have, and then I'll share some of the stuff I've asked it, because it really is like having an assistant right here in your room. Susie, how do I this? Bloom. Billy, how do I that? Bloom. And they give you this whole list of what you just asked for, and you're still in the same conversation. So then you say, and what about this? And it knows what you said a minute ago, so it keeps on with that same stream. I think it's fascinating, but they think it's a problem. So doc, what about you? Well, I use it. Um, of course it is a tool. I use it to, um, double check some of my information, uh, because I try to hit, um, people that have gardened a little bit and then newbies and gardening. And I try to hit a generalized, uh, topic or generalized details, because I don't know if you know this, Queenie, but I have a tendency to dive really deep into details. <laughs> Wait, just um, a moment. Could you say that again so I can write that down? <laughs> yeah, I, I even get myself lost on, you know, oh my gosh. 
you know, nitrogen in the soil, did you know? Like nobody cares, Laura or Doc, nobody cares. But I use it mainly for, um, I, I've, I've done it for giving me outlines on what are the popular topics. I did an entire year worth of what's the popular gardening topics and it gives me a list. So that's my jumping or my starting off point on some of my um, blog posts, some of my podcasting, um, you know, stuff, uh, anything that I'm writing about at the moment. So I use it that way. I don't necessarily ask it to write me anything. If I have more questions about something, um, for example, I did a, I wanted to see how far I could push it. And I know that probably <laughs> surprises me. That surprises me. me too, yeah. So topic was onions. Tell me how, how many varieties. Tell me how many colors. Tell me countries of origins. Tell me how they're cooked, how you use them in cooking, how you use them in, er, you know, in an herb tincture or whatever. Um, and it was quite interesting. And I kept going, like, what, what should you plant with an onion? What should you not plant next to an onion? Um, you know, all, all of that. And I probably have 20 to 25 pages of information about onions. You know, what's, what's in the onion family, what's related from the onion family, what came from the onion, you know, I mean, you could drive yourself a little cray cray. <laughs> I, I'm but I, to answer your question, I use it as a tool. I know you're shocked and amazed. <laughs> I, I use it as a tool for a bounce off mainly. Or if I have something I've written, I'll go back and go rewrite it. And I want to just see what it says. Um, and then sometimes it's very, um, I don't know, prim and proper type of language. And I'll say, make it more casual. <laughs> so then it'll go, hey, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot you could do. Um, you see what I mean? It's like having your, your assistant right in the room with you yes. while you're having a conversation. She's taking dictation. And then one more little story, and then I'm going to flip it to you. Um, my husband used it, and he wanted to see, um, he was working on his marketing for his business, and he he asked Chat GPT to be a marketing specialist or whatever to critique what he was writing about. And so the, the computer acted as if it was a, you know, a marketing person and said, oh, this doesn't make any sense. And then, then he would ask, you know, can you rewrite that to make, make it make sense? So it would rewrite it. Yeah. So he actually had a conversation back and forth as if the computer, the, the AI was a marketing person. That's another, that's a kind of a fascinating, you know, actually that gives me some ideas to ask. <laughs> like, Yeah. Now, for those of us, for those of you watching with us today, and again, we thank you for being part of the Doc and Queenie family community. Let's think in terms of, again, if you're having your assistant in the room with you and they're taking notes or dictation or whatever that looks like. If I'm speaking in terms of electrolysis chamber and ionization, I probably just lost half of the prospects for my post. So what happens if you ask chat GPT to talk about alkalinity, pH, chemistry, water technology on a fifth or eighth grade level? That's not a slam on my friends. That is a um, generalization, if you will, because not everyone knows or cares what an electrolysis chamber is. Right. And I can speak to my peers like that, my other people who do what I do as far as training, but probably not to my clients or prospects or certainly my friends. And so you can talk to ChatGPT and say, redo that in eighth grade level, fifth grade level, second grade level. I don't care what you redo it in. And then be sure, I always save this like um, print screen on my computer, like save it in a file, because I want to go back after a couple days. If I have changed my verbiage, please change the format. And I can do that. And it, it saves for you also, which is nice. But yes. um, it's back to that same drill. I want it done my way. I know that's a shocker. <laughs> and uh, but I really absolutely love the choices. What is a great poll? for LinkedIn. 
And it gives you that. What are some icebreaker questions? It gives you that. What is a networking avatar? It gives you that. What does an alkaline water customer avatar look like? It gives you that. And I'm just telling you, please think outside the box because it's back to that same thing. You guys quack me up. I love that. Um, it is so amazing to me that we have a tool like this and some people haven't used it yet. Oh, no, no, I don't do that stuff. I appreciate that. But what happens if someone says that about you and your product or so? Oh, no, no, I don't do that. How do you know? I don't do posting parties either. And now I don't do LinkedIn. What? I don't do YouTube. Excuse me? And so it's back to that same thing. If you want to stay your size, your, your social media size, that's great. But for me, I never want to stop learning. And speaking of learning, Doc, there's a new app on Zoom to create your own avatar. So there's oh, wow. a very good possibility. I know your actual own, like how I've made a dog face before uh, with my avatar. Now you can make the avatar look like you. It terrifies me, actually. But I never <laughs> stop learning. And I learned that on one of my parties. Uh, posting very parties. cool. Um, to flip slightly, as you were you know, using some of the what you can ask uh -huh. chat GPT. Yes. What are the top gardening hashtags? And I actually have been experimenting with that over the past week or so to see if it actually, you know, gets things moving a little bit better. But it gave me a list of 20, 20 top hashtags for gardening. You know, what are the you call it top or trending? I said top. Um, and I also did trending, but I, I'm right now working on the top list. OK, I was just wondering how you talk to it, um, because I, I have done both grandiose conversation and um, grade school level conversation to see if I get different answers, because, of course, I'm trying to quiz the genius. Well, and, I, and there's a button on there that says regenerate, and it'll basically rewrite what it said just a different way. Yes. You basically have the same stuff. So I'll say different different information. I, I just one or two words. I know you probably find that. You know, different information. Make it more casual. Do what I tell you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it I don't will have come up with something to sit here else. And mess with this. Let's get this done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, yeah. I think it's a fantastic tool. It's You'll be fantastic. entertained to know that people have questioned plagiarism. So, of course, being me with our Legal Shield friends on the call. I wanted to know if the chat GPT artificial intelligence topic is grounds for plagiarism if you copy paste. Now, first of all, on all the chat GPT stuff I have done, I have not copy pasted verbatim at all uh, just because I want it to be my voice a little more. And you can ask it, put it in my voice because somehow it knows who I am. Da, da, da. And that isn't that terrifying in itself. Be sure little. Yeah, <laughs> yeah kind of like that. And but I have I have I wanted to know if it's a plagiaristic uh, conversation. And so I changed the verbiage a bit myself anyway. But it says no entity or person owns what comes off of an artificial intelligence platform. And so when I saw that, first of all, they'd answered my question. But it's kind of like if you're doing an avatar on one of the artificial intelligence um, websites, you're going to create an a, a, um, actual caricature and you're going to create that on one of those those social media, those websites. And so I wanted to know if I make this picture, who owns that? Because if someone sees it and goes, excuse me, that was mine, I don't need any problems. And so I, I wanted to know who owns the picture that I just had the AI generate. And the answer is, according to right now, obviously things change. No person or entity owns what an AI service provides yet. And yeah. so by the time everybody gets involved, who knows what's going to happen. But for right now, uh, what you create on AI, artificial intelligence, has not turned out to be messy yet. So now that they're going to ban it for whatever their next reason is, that's where we are. And, and uh, to comment on the legal aspect of um, creative content, I actually called my uh, law firm and asked 
about the whole creative content because I, I post a lot of my own pictures. Um, and I talked to the lawyer about like, you know, what if somebody, and he said, as soon as you put that picture on that, you know, you're the person that created that it becomes yours. There's no, you know, it's, it's right now, even from that standpoint, it, he said, it's very, um, trying to remember how he described it, but, uh, not many people, you know, right now, it, it doesn't seem to be an issue. Uh, but if it becomes an issue, it's a mess. <laughs> oh, my it. gosh. You know, and I, I would assume that would be the same with the AI piece. It blows my mind to think in terms of um, what we put out there and you know the date it was done because you can track that back. Now, probably somebody could mess with the calendar date stuff, I guess. But the bigger issue is you put it out there and now it's, quote, yours. Yay. But somebody's always messing with that system. And right. so chat GPT, there is so many things. If you haven't used it yet, please don't. Um, well, I choose to learn about something and then it's not a good fit for me or it is. I, you know, right. that that depends, of course. But I have had people before. Doc, remember when we first started using StreamYard? Wait a minute. I'm not doing StreamYard. Well, we've had other people pop on this call, especially with Doc and Queenie Day. And so we do a StreamYard or even a Zoom and give people the link so they can hop on with us. Oh, my gosh. And it's been super fun. I don't do StreamYard. I don't do Zoom. I don't do LinkedIn. I don't do posting parties. I don't do whatever they don't do. And I'm always like, well, for me, it's always a learning curve. And I don't want to stop learning because I, I have to I have to stay a little bit caught up with you, Doc. Well, you know, I have to, um, I have to watch you, Queenie, and I also have to answer all of your polls on LinkedIn. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you like that there, Doc? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I do. I just, I, I, I've been enjoying those and making little comments here and there. But you know just got the most buzz so far? Well, not the most, but I was very surprised. When so I, does. well, yes, sawdust for you, drippy for me. <laughs> and I just made a little guy and I just, well, I just did it. And I thought, what the heck? Cause sometimes I just like to, you know, fly up a balloon and see what happens. <laughs> so I put drippy out there as a post. And I mentioned that drippy has a cousin named leaky because it was leaky faucet all that stuff. I'm watching the interaction on this thing going, Holy moly. And the topic of course is water. I not in sense. <laughs> See, I didn't do Kangen water. I didn't do ionization. I didn't do electrolysis chamber. I didn't do chemistry and pH and science. I did drippy and leaky. And I'm looking at this going, holy moly. So I feel that the chat GPT stuff is, if they don't mess with it, let's just go there. But if uh, yeah. the GPT stuff is going to be an interesting traffic getter for those folks who choose to participate. Yes, definitely. Well, guess what, Queenie? Oh, please don't tell me that today. Uh -uh. It is time. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It is time to say goodbye to all of our faithful friends on purpose. And thank you, everyone, for joining us, whether it was live or on the replay. You can catch Doc and Queenie Facebook Live at High Noon every single Monday because Queenie loves Mondays. No. <laughs> Well, I have made more haters because I love Mondays. It's so funny. <laughs> but seriously, if you want to check out Queenie's uh, website, yeah, drippy and leaky. I'm not sure. <laughs> I See, don't know. I got friends I'm... everywhere. I'm just telling you. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you want to check out uh, Kathy Weaver, a.k.a. Queenie, you can find her at KathyWeaverKC.com. And the same name all over social media. Myself, Doc, a.k.a. Laura Christine at KitchenGardenExpert.com and Kitchen Garden Expert all over social media. So until next time, have a very fantastic week and be blessed. And we will catch you right back here next Monday at High Noon. You just wanted to see if I could do that twice, didn't you? Yes, I, I always am pushing it. So <laughs> thank you, everyone. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye, Doc. Bye, Queenie.